Well, at the Institute of Ideas, we're not really interested in policy influence. Um, we are fairly partisan in as much as we know what we think about things. And we're trying to influence the agenda through the public. So we're trying to win an audience over to our ideas by engagement, by no holds bars debate, by having real interesting conversations that aren't limited by policy. I'd like to think that in the long run that influences what the government is thinking, but in a way I think trying to talk to them at the moment is a, is a waste of time um, because you're just accepting certain problems are the way things are, and I don't want to do that. Okay. Is this indeed under Cameron's approach? I think it's probably been the case for overall 20, 20 years, under the Labour Party, um, certainly, but also under the new coalition. I think the Tories and the Labour Party aren't what they once were, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. There are certainly limitations with that. But really, they're very similar. They're cut from the same cloth, whether you're on the kind of, whether you're from the Lib Dems, whether you're from the Tory party, or whether you're from the Labour Party today. And that is a, a group of people that have grown up detached from wider politics, detached from the public. They work in Brussels, Whitehall, in think tanks. It doesn't really matter. There's a kind of revolving door. And I think that they're really just self-interested. They're only interested in elections. And they're not really interested in positive, long-term, difficult change. They can, but not necessarily a positive one. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the context of Britain, where my think tank is based, and what I think the problems are. I think we are living in fairly depoliticized times, where the kind of politics of left and right are very much off the agenda. And what you've got in its place is a managerial political class who are pretty much detached from people's real interests and just constantly make policy policy that has unintended consequences and is also about maintaining the status quo. So the big ideas are gone. I think in that context, think tanks, certainly in the UK, are trying to influence policy. So they're coming up with all sorts of fairly random ideas that they think will meet um, government expectations. They're not particularly taking responsibility for them. They're not really analysing the kind of context in which they're living in. And so I think you have negative influence from think tanks today, which is very short term. Um, the long term is off the agenda, so I'd like to see them make a different type of difference.